We have now Nirma University at Ahmedabad. Let's go over to Nirma University, Ahmedabad. Good afternoon, sir. I am myself Swapnil Jani from the Silora College of Engineering and Technology. I am attending a CFD workshop since last 10 days at the Institute of Technology, uh, Nirma University. Uh, as far as the course concerns, that CFD course is a very advanced course and I am happy that I can attend this uh, course. Uh, the professor Puranik has explained all the fluid mechanics phenomena very well and the professor Sarma has created animations very well. So without the animation, it is very tough to understand the finite volume method and finite difference method. So I would like to appreciate the efforts put by the, both the professors um, with the clappings. So here, all the members, we are... Okay. At the same time, I would like to appreciate the uh, peace of mind of the, both the professors because many of the questions arise are repeated so many times and they answered it very well with the peace of the minds. So I also, I would also like to appreciate that things. And um, another thing, sir, I would expect from the IIT Bombay that this type of the course from the aerospace department for the subject of aerodynamics, it should be carried out. So uh, the aeronautics people will get the benefit of it. So I'm, uh, again, I'm very, ha very happy and thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, Professor Jani, for your comments. Uh, your observation about the need for a course in aerodynamics of similar nature is well taken. I'll personally speak to Professor Sudhakar and other senior people in aerospace department uh, to perhaps try and offer such a program. What happens usually is that departments such as aerospace engineering are only at very few places in the country. And the one fear is that when we are planning a thousand teacher workshop, where there would be thousand teachers across the country who would be participating in such a program. However, my opinion is that thousand teachers or 10,000 teachers is merely a model. That model should never put us into a thinking that if there are few people, we should not worry about them. That is completely incorrect. I am of the opinion that even if there are 200 teachers in the country who are interested in a particular a discipline or an area, just because they come from 200 different places, we must not neglect them. In fact, for that very reason, we should organize such programs using technology such that some experts from IIT Bombay and other places can reach out to these 200 people. My own ambition is that I should be able to call just one participant at a remote center and as long as I have 300 such participants in 300 remote centers, I should still be able to run this program meaningfully. We are wondering how exactly we could make such a model affordable in terms of a funding problem. But the point is well taken. Thank you very much for your observations. We'll go over to VNIT in Nagpur, which has been one of the earliest remote centers in our endeavor. This was much before we started these MHRD programs. Uh, VNIT has been with us ever since I first started the distance education program in the year 2000. So over to you, VNIT. Uh, good evening, sir. Uh, sir, myself, Yogesh Dhote, one of the participants at uh, VNIT Remote Center. Uh, I am at the associate professor at Hindustan College of Science and Technology. It is in uh, North India, Mathura. Uh, it is coming under Mahamaya Technical University, Noida. Uh, sir, the facility at the remote center, VNIT was excellent in terms of classroom delivery, the lab sessions, the food and accommodation. I really appreciate the efforts carried away by the remote center coordinator, Professor A.S. Roble, Professor P.S. Kulkarni, and subordinate team members, uh, particularly for their uh, hospitality. The, uh, hospitality. the hospitality provided by them was excellent at this center. I heartily thankful to Professor Puranik, Professor Atul Sharma for excellent deliberations in a very simple manner. Uh, finally, I am very much obliged to Professor D.B. Pathak, Dr. Mukta Atre, the IST, the MHRD, and total uh, uh, IIT, uh, IIT faculty members for their collaborative efforts for organizing 
uh, for offering such a valuable course for uh, technical teachers. Uh, one thing I would like to point out here, particularly in North India, basically I belong to North India, but uh, uh, we have so many remote centers, so many participants coming from the Central India, from the Southern part of the India, from the Western part of the India, but particularly in North, uh, North India is, uh, uh, I think we have some scope there. Uh, most of the institutions, uh, 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 the number of the institutions is also too large there, but uh, the remote center quantity is not uh, in a respectable manner. So that is, uh, I am just pointing out uh, some space is there uh, to increase the remote center there. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Professor Yogesh Kote. A very important point that you made about the non-availability of adequate number of remote centers in some states. I think you put it very politely, but let me tell you this unfortunate situation has not arisen because of any lack of effort uh, from our side. I had personally written letters to over 3,500 colleges in the country uh, asking them to find out whether they are interested in becoming remote centers. We again wrote when I started to expand the number of remote centers for the more massive program which could address 10,000 teachers, I once again wrote to a large number of people. Unfortunately, every time we write to people across the country, there are more and more requests from Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Maharashtra, Gujarat. Very recently, we had a few requests from states like Rajasthan, Haryana, and Punjab. But we did not get any requests from states like Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, Orisha, and West Bengal. I would entirely agree with you that a program of this nature, which could benefit a very large number of uh, teachers across the country, there is no reason to deprive a very large number of teachers in these states. My personal request to Professor Yogesh would be that see, since he comes from Mathura and, and a college in Mathura, would he take upon himself to carry my personal request to his own college director provided, of course, the college meets the necessary norms of infrastructure and other things, and find out whether his own college would be interested in becoming a remote center. My own plan, uh, Professor Yogesh, is to have about 500 remote centers across the country within the next one year. And out of these, I want at least 200 new remote centers by the month of November so that we can conduct our next workshop in the December vacation at many more places. Ideally, teachers working in a city should not have to travel to any other city in order to attend the workshop. Of course, there are exceptions when there could be only one college with few faculty members at a remote place. Those people may have to travel. But this is where I am working for. I am, I am, I am appealing not only to Professor Yogesh Kote, but through him to all other participants here, those of you who come from the states which I mentioned, and even other states in fact, please go back and check up with your college authorities whether they would be interested in becoming a remote center. We have a permanent page on our website where any such college which is interested can click, can fill up the information, and our colleagues could go back and vet the information and try to see whether that college could become a remote center. I appeal to all of you to help us increase our reach further across the country, but more so in those specific states that I mentioned. As regards uh, VNIT uh, coordinators, uh, I'm aware of at least Professor Kulkarni, who I think is involved in practically every course there is the remote center coordinator there. Yes. Uh, so Professor Kulkarni, my personal thanks to you for all the extraordinary work that you have been doing at VNIT Nagpur. Thank you so much. We'll now go over to Truba College, Indore. Over to you, Truba College. Sir, I am Dipendra Fatak from Chameli Devi Group of Institutions attending the workshop at Remote Center Truba. Sir, we are very thankful to you, Dr. Puranik and Dr. Sharma for making us uh, let know about the CFD as we, we, we should like to make a note that CFD is not yet introduced as a regular curriculum in this part of the world 
and undergraduate and postgraduate courses but due to this workshop we are encouraged to do so we would uh, and we would uh, also like to uh, thank mr vishesh agrawal for his efforts in making the scilab codes uh, very interactive and easy for us as well as the workshop coordinators at truba mr rupesh tiwari sir and mr rajesh verma sir for their efforts for making us uh, feel comfortable in the remote center thank you sir thank you so much for your comments uh, i really appreciate your observation about the support in scilab that you uh, get uh, many times we forget that for all the excellent academic work that we do as teachers both in teaching and researching it is a whole lot of efforts from our other junior colleagues such as our students and the project staff which makes great things possible so i would also like to join you in in, in thanking yogi thank you so much we now go over to kj somia college they are of course in mumbai and a lot closer but uh, physically as i said doesn't matter whether you are 40 kilometers away or 400 kilometers away over to you somia college college of engineering working here as professor this college is effective last two years also uh, computational fluid dynamics is one of the course that i am teaching as an elective we all appreciated this uh, workshop trend day workshop various topics covered by professor puranik and professor sharma all the lecture slides which were extremely illustrative and the lab sessions which has really helped all of us to understand the subject so very much in detail and have been all extremely illustrative i must thank you all for this opportunity given to all of us on behalf of this remote center and all of the participants thank you sir our principal is here please uh, i i'll give the mic to hi i would like to thank the organizers for conducting such a good workshop for the last couple of days and making things which are otherwise very difficult to digest uh, easy to assimilate thanks a lot thank you out and over thank you very much uh, professor gaurang sha and thank you very much principal madam for making those observations as such are the observations which encourage all of us uh, to continue to work on on this important initiative i will now go over to rk college of engineering rajkot uh, good evening sir myself bavik uh, professor bavik upadhyay from uh, shantilal sha engineering college bhavnagar i am attending uh, this workshop from uh, remote center rk college of engineering rajkot uh, first of all i would say really the workshop is very excellent there is no word to uh, express the feelings uh, just to see the success of this workshop <laughs> really the method of teaching the deliberation uh, the depth of knowledge all uh, are very nice uh, really uh, we are here 32 participants uh, from this remote center uh, we all thankful to mhrd iit bombay uh, really uh, the efforts Uh, from this institute uh, coordinators we all are uh, thankful uh, to coordinators thank you very much thank you so much we are very happy to have a a center in such a remote uh, western part of the country as rajkot uh, in fact uh, i may be jumping the gun but when we begin the uh, workshop for the introduction to research methodologies program from monday uh, rajkot is one of the centers isn't it so uh, i have requested the honorable minister for human resources sri kapil sibal to come and address us we are still not sure whether he will address us on the morning of 25th or sometime later but whenever he comes i had in mind just to demonstrate the extensive reach that this program has made possible i wanted to a uh, request for a brief interaction from five selected remote centers and i had the five centers in the easternmost westernmost northernmost and the southernmost part of the country uh, we have for that workshop a center in srinagar a center in agartala a center in uh, kanyakumari 
and I had in mind the center in Rajkot. I am very happy to note that the audio visual is very good at the Rajkot center. So thank you so much for your uh, comments and interaction. I will now go over to another partner of ours who has been with us in most of the workshops, uh, Jaipur College Kokas. Over to you. From Jaipur Engineering College Kokas. First of all, I would like to thank uh, the eminent professor, Professor Sharma and Professor Pernik for their enlightening lectures. Uh, thank you, professors, for introducing us to finite volume techniques. Uh, students, scholars here have enjoyed the, enjoyed the lectures. Uh, I would also like to thank the local organizers over here. Uh, they have taken care of us properly. Thank you very much for your kind efforts. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Gurmandar Singh. Over to you, Shastra University. Good evening, sir. Ah. Christ University, Tanjavur, Tamil Nadu. First of all, I thank the IST, MHRD and the IIT Bombay team for their excellent efforts in conducting in such a program. Next, I would like to thank our remote center, Sastra University, for their excellent hospitality and the facilities provided here. I also thank the coordinators of Sastra University Remote Center, Dr. Jayaraman and Mr. Sairam for their excellent coordination throughout this program. I next thank, uh, thank our teachers, Professor Atul Sharma and Professor Balsandra Puranik for their excellent teaching and their hard work behind the screen and for patiently answering all the questions which are of uh, variety. And one or two feedbacks I want to give about this program. These programs will be very much helpful for all the teachers if, if they are conducted during the vacation periods, mostly in the month of May and December. And another thing is, so since this is a program related to mechanical or civil engineering, the other, the, in the model, the subjects related to such branches may be also made, to, made, uh, made access to the Moodle account folders, other subjects also. That is my suggestion, sir. Thank you and over to you, sir. Thank you very much, Professor. Point that you made is well taken. Uh, it is not easy for us to provide cross access in the Moodle, which being a learning management system, is organized along rigid partitions uh, to participants registering for a course. However, I assure you that soon when we launch our larger servers, and our Joomla framework-based uh, comprehensive website, which incidentally will have a Moodle component integrated with it, will soon be making all the contents of all the courses easily available and accessible to all the participants of all our workshops in the past and future, and even additionally to future prospective participants and even other students and teachers. Uh, but unfortunately, you may have to wait for it for about three to four months' time. We have started working on it. Uh, thanks for your comment. We'll now go over to VIT Vellore. Over to you, sir. My name is Professor Prakash from the VIT University. This is an excellent university with extraordinary uh, facilities. And uh, first of all, please accept our salutations uh, from each one of us for the excellent, wonderful job which is done by both the professors, mainly Professor Puranik and Professor Atul Sharma. They are really very wonderful persons and they have to... Yeah. So we have actually enjoyed very much the presentations and we have learned quite a lot. And from the smiles from our faces, you can see that how much we have transferred, transformed ourselves in 10 days workshop. So please keep this up in future also. Right? This should not be the first and the last uh, workshop. We would like to have that this kind of the workshop with different themes should be repeated more frequently in future. And also I 
we are also very grateful to the excellent job done by our coordinator here, Professor Sandil Kumar, who has taken every care in uh, accommodating us and taking and making us very much sure that we must not miss any of the session and actually we all uh, attended the, all the programs very seriously and we are really benefited very much. So thank you very much once again and uh, wish you good luck and with all of our best regards. Thank you. Thank you Professor Prakash. Thank you for those nice words. We'll go to another sister institution, NIT Calicut. Yes, I can see NIT Calicut people. Over to you. Good evening, sir. I am Anju. I am assistant professor in chemical engineering, government engineering college, Calicut. I am attending the workshop in uh, NIT Calicut. Uh, I take this opportunity to thank MHRD and IIT Bombay for this uh, excellent opportunity uh, for us. And also, I am extremely thankful to Professor Puryanik and Professor Atul Sharma for their uh, very good, uh, excellent uh, class uh, presentation. And uh, I would like to point out that uh, it, is, uh, extreme, it is a very uh, unique opportunity uh, for uh, me, especially for the female community uh, who is often uh, not able to attend such sessions in uh, remote places. I mean, uh, in uh, uh, distant places like IIT Bombay, but we are getting a very good opportunity to attend this uh, lecture from the uh, experts uh, in uh, nearby places. It is a very good opportunity. I thank uh, all the coordinators for this, and I thank the uh, NIT Calicut for providing us with all the facilities, and also the uh, remote coordinator, uh, Professor Sudhagar, for all his help and uh, arranging everything uh, here and uh, also uh, one request from our part actually uh, from all our chemical engineering uh, fraternity actually we are uh, we have a, uh, actually for this uh, second time I am uh, attending this IST workshop I have attended this uh, heat transfer workshop as well and, uh, this is a unique opportunity but still we find it uh, slightly um, difficult because uh, I mean not difficult exactly, it is, uh, it is from the mechanical engineering perspective, so we find uh, some difficulties in some, some places. So my uh, request is to conduct some chemical engineering courses, I mean from the chemical engineering department as well, if some uh, courses are offered, it would be very, very helpful uh, for all of us in chemical engineering uh, teaching fraternity. And thank you very much for all that support. Over. Thank you very much, Professor Anju. Uh, your points, both the points that you made are important. Uh, particularly, the ladies find it very difficult to travel to a remote place. Uh, more particularly, ladies who have young children will not be able to travel, and they would like the facility to be available at a place closer to where they stay. The point is well taken, and I am very happy that in Koekor itself you are able to attend uh, this lecture. This, this workshop. Uh, the second point that you made, uh, I agree with you and I'll be again personally going over to my colleagues in chemical engineering department uh, requesting them uh, to, uh, to perhaps offer programs in their streams. However, I just had one observation to make is more to my own colleagues, Professor Sharma and Professor Puranik here. Will it not be possible to conduct a program such as CFD as a composite program where you have the core uh, issues discussed and then we request some colleagues from chemical engineering department and some colleagues from aerospace engineering department and some colleagues from civil engineering department to conduct some specific lectures and specific portion. Uh, do you think that would be meaningful? Yeah, that's an excellent uh, mix of so that we cover all the different inter interdisciplinary branches. Without wasting too much of the time of uh, too many participants. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Thank you so much. We'll work on, on this approach in, in future. I will now go over to PVPS Institute of Technology in Vijayawada. 
from remote center PVPSIT Vijayawada, Andhra Pradesh. Sir, this program is excellent and amazing. And I request the MHRD to conduct this kind of the programs in future also for benefit of the teachers of all over India. And I am thankful to Professor Purani as well as Sharma for taking the painstaking efforts in conducting this program in a, such an organized manner. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll go over to MANIT Bhopal now. Over to you. Good evening, sir. I am Dr. K. R. Ayerwal, associate professor in Michael Engineering Departments. I am very thankful to organizing such type of workshop from IIT Bombay. And uh, at the center, nearly 40 persons are attending these workshops. And everybody has enjoyed the course very much, especially the lecture delivered by Professor Pranik and uh, Professor Sharma. And uh, one more request uh, that uh, we have our institute director, Professor Apukutan KK, he would like to interact with you. Sir. Hello, good evening. It was a very nice program. Last large number of uh, people are uh, liked the lectures, but I could not cut. I missed it. Uh, but it is a very good coming area. A lot of work is going on computational for dynamic. So the basics and other things, it is very helpful for the uh, participants. I got a feedback from them. It was a very excellent, excellent program. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor, uh, for you to have personally come here and encourage the, the participants. Uh, we are unfortunately only five minutes away to the closure and I still have five hands raised. I will very quickly go to uh, these institution. The first is Institute of Road and Transport Technology, Road. I would request you to keep your comments as brief as possible. Please go ahead, Erod. Thank you, thank MHRD, IIT Mumbai, and the professors especially for the excellent effort what they have taken. So at the outset, this program was really excellent and really very useful, sir. Thank you. Over to you. Thank you so much, professor. We'll now go over to St. Joseph College, Kerala. I can see the friends from St. Joseph College, Kerala, over to you. Hello. This is Sibi from St. Joseph's College of Engineering and Technology, Pala. Um, uh, on behalf of all the participants in our remote center, I extend my regards and thanks for all distinguished professors at IIT Bombay for conducting such an excellent program. So, uh, the, uh, what I find is that uh, Professor Sharma and Professor Punanik were exceptional in delivering this uh, course on computational fluid dynamics. The way Professor Punanik has started with fluid kinematics was unbelievable. And he has gone through all the details of these topics and, and how he has finished it on last Friday was absolutely unbelievable. I just cannot um, have uh, more words to describe his lecture. Actually, I am a little bit jealous of his students at IIT Bombay because every other day he could hear his lecture. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, no more words to describe his um, lecture. In, in fact, he was really inspirational for a kind of role model for us. And uh, apart from the knowledge he delivered, the way he delivered the language was exceptional. And I think I, think I, I will be carrying that kind of uh, approach to subject, be it computational fluid dynamics or any other subject. I'll be uh, looking at that sort of deliverance uh, of subject to my students as well. So uh, we feel all of, all of the participants here feel the same thing towards him. Of course, Professor Sharma also has done a wonderful job. He has finished the lectures, a solution for the navier stock solution, uh, navier stock equation. That was also very good. So I also have, th th that's it from my side. And I also have a, a word of appreciation for our course coordinator that is here, Mr. Jill Sebastian. Uh, I think he has made use of that training at IIT Bombay uh, to an exceptional benefit for all of us here. He was running around, he was very active, he was helping us for the lab sessions. Everything was fine in this particular center. So we are hoping to participate in these kind of programs in the future as well. Thanks for all those 
uh, made this wonderful program possible for us. Thanks again. We'll go over to uh, Periyar Maniamal University of Tanjavur. There's another center which has been with, working with us for quite some time. Over to you, Tanjavur. Yeah, good evening, sir. This is Yasser Arafat from Periyar Maniamal University. First of all, I would like to thank on behalf of our university to the whole team who began this CFD workshop. And one suggestion, the person who is behind is an engineer from the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center. He is complaining about you, why you are restricted only to the faculty, not for the research scholars from the, such organizations. <laughs> and really, it's a very worth, and I can say that the CFD book, whenever we are taking the book, after 10 minutes it will go to my head as a pillow. <laughs> but now I can say that after going through the two workshop, now I can say that whenever hereafter going through the CFD books, I can say the reference may be our professor slides. Yeah, thanks a lot, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, the point that you mentioned about the ISRO scientists is well taken. Uh, by the way, every time such a case is referred to me, my heart sinks because the current constraints do not permit me to extend uh, the, uh, the availability of this interaction uh, to a large number of other people, such as our friend from ISRO. But please tell your friend that I am trying to take vigorous steps to ensure that any learner across the country be him or her a professional or a teacher or a student, should be able to benefit from this program. Although we may not be able to offer a certificate from IST, but in so far as benefiting from the program is concerned, it should be possible uh, for one and all. I have just one more hand raised, which is at R.C. Patel Institute at Shirpur. We'll go over to the R.C. Patel Institute at Shirpur. Over to you, Shirpur. from SPNIT and a faculty member at RCPIT Shirpur. This is second time I am at the workshop where uh, Dr. Atul Sharma is a facilitator. I attended the workshop at Karad and that initiative was sparked in me to work in the CFD, not only in generating the course that will help you for the students in performing the practicals, but also to use some commercial course that will help us in analyzing the problems related with the research currently I'm working in. I'm thankful to uh, Dr. Atul Sharma and Dr. Puranik for their valuable efforts in conducting this workshop for faculties. We are in the rural area and this workshop will definitely help and encourage all the participants present over here to start doing some research work in the area of computational fluid dynamics. Thank you, sir, and thank you, IIT Bombay, for initiating such a program for the people who are sitting in the rural area so far from the uh, metropolitans. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, with that, we come to the end of observations. We are already about four minutes late, but I would request, I would like to request uh, uh, my colleagues, uh, Professor Atul Sharma and Professor Balchan Puranek, to make some very brief concluding remarks. Over to you, Atul. Uh, we are overwhelmed by your kind gesture. Uh, in fact, uh, I had a special interest that this course should be, sta should be taught in under as an undergraduate course. I visit different colleges to give invited lectures, roughly uh, five different places almost every year in the last five years. Uh, I would like to thank Professor Fatak and his team to giving me an opportunity with that I could reach to the number which I had never imagined in my life. Uh, I would like to thank uh, the people who are behind this work whom you don't see, the um, people who are cameramen or the, so these are the people who had been working very hard with continuously with us. So we should all thank to them. Uh, now what another thing which I would like to point out before I end is that now the ball is in your court. Because we have given you a lot of material in terms of lecture slides, codes, lab sheets. Now it is very important that you go back and, back and work on it. Otherwise all these efforts 
will have no value. So, we sincerely suggest you that start working on it, then only you can start teaching this course and the best way to learn is to start teaching this course. So, I hope you will start teaching this, so that all this effort finally, that is the success I will take when this course is being taught in most of the places in our country. Thank you for your attention. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't really like these valedictory functions because everyone keeps talking only nice things. Uh, clearly, I was expecting some sort of a criticism on some of the things that we have done here, but I suppose I'll go back and um, read that at leisure from the from the Moodle. I'm sure there is sufficient uh, number of comments that have been placed on Moodle, which uh, which will make us think a little better. Uh, uh, jokes apart, I think uh, this was a really fantastic experience for all of us and um, for me personally, I think it was uh, the question and answer sessions uh, that were the best and uh, to be honest with you, some extremely good questions were asked uh, which, uh, which have made us think little more um, and uh, essentially that's, that's going to help us when we go back to our own classrooms uh, next semester and uh, start teaching these courses again. Uh, we'll, we'll keep all those uh, questions in mind. Just to wrap up very quickly, uh, what I'll, I'll request you is to go back to the objectives of the course uh, and make sure that uh, you're satisfied with, uh, with those the, in the sense that they have been achieved. Uh, as, uh, as Atul said, what you need to do is you have to keep doing this all the time. Uh, CFD is one subject which is truly hands-on so no matter how many times you listen to someone talking about it, uh, it's not going to sink in unless you really, really practice it hard. And uh, by practicing hard, the, the only way out is to, to keep writing these codes. Uh, you have sufficient material with you as a reference material, including the excellent codes uh, developed by, by Vishesh. Use them as the framework and keep at it. That's the only way you are going to, to really learn CFD. Uh, please feel free to write on Moodle and uh, we'll keep answering those to the best of our capability. Thank you very much and uh, I wish you all the best. Thank you so much, Professor. Uh, when I give my concluding remarks, I plan for about 15 minutes and carry on for about half an hour at least, like most of us teachers do. But I think I already made some observations during the interaction. So I will restrict myself only to profusely thank, first of all, all the participants, not only for the nice comments that they made now, but one for, for the serious participation, which was very obvious uh, through their comments when they were making those comments. I really appreciate that. It is only for you uh, that we attempt to do these things. The next, of course, I would like to thank all the remote center uh, staff, starting with the workshop coordinator and the remote center coordinator, and including the back end people who are usually not visible, as we, as I had said some time ago. Thank you very much. Of course, at my end, I have already mentioned that I have very strong teams backing this effort, uh, led by senior and experienced people like Dr. Mukta Atre, with whom you have been uh, interacting for a long time. You can see Mr. Jaya Gaitonde, who is our finance minister. Uh, you may not be individually in contact with her, but all the remote center coordinators uh, know where the money comes from and how carefully it is monitored. We have Mrs. Kalpana Kannan. She is our content manager. So when all these contents will go onto the final website, it will be through the efforts of her and her team. We also have Mr. Sajjan Dikshit. He and his team, I have really no words to uh, praise. It is their tireless efforts because of which we are able to get audio and video quality uh, of such clarity that makes the entire exercise meaningful. Please understand that the medium and its quality is never noticed until something goes wrong. And when it goes wrong, then only we recognize the people behind the technical people at your end as well as technical people at our end. So thank you very much, you leaders and your teams. I would like to end this concluding session by giving a parting bouquet to two colleagues who have done absolutely extraordinary work. I could conclude that very easily from all the observations that you have made. 
Uh, by the way, they are great teachers, not only as you recognize them, but as we, the faculty colleagues in IIT, and of course, most of their students recognize them. Well, thank you so much, Professor Sharma. Here is something more for your wife rather than for you. Professor Purani, thank you so much. And please start working on the advanced course as the people have it. Thank you so much. God bless you.